very good morning students welcome to english class today i am going to teach you a new lesson the lesson name is my early home the black beauty is called darky so my dear students when we are born our mother or our parents takes care of us and we drink milk from our mother mother teaches us how to uh, walk as we grow up mother and father teaches us good manners how to behave with elders in the society and we should we, we should be well disciplined and well mannered and we should not uh, bring bad name to our family isn't it students so we should never uh, fight and we should be always gentle and kind towards people so the lesson my early home is written by anna swell anna swell so she was born in 1820 and died in 1878 so she was a english novelist known widely for her novel black beauty the novel deals with the well being of animals and gives lessons in kindness sympathy and respect for others so now let us do the warm up exercise okay solve this crossword using the clues so the puzzle is here and there are six questions so the first question is a female horse is called dash so it is called mare second one a n male horse is called a dash it is called colt third one a n female horse is called a dash filly it is called filly fourth one a small horse is called a dash so it is called pony when a horse runs fast it is called dash so it is called gallop when a horse runs slow it is called trot okay i hope you understood the warm up exercise now let us begin the lesson so here is a picture you can see of the black beauty the darky horse and mother okay so this is a story has been taken from the novel uh, black beauty by anna savel the narrator is a handsome black horse named black beauty he spends his early childhood in a pleasant meadow where he is treated with kindness then he is sold and he was many different uh, has many different masters some are kind some cruel some foolish so the story brings out how animals like human beings have feelings and uh, that they ought to be treated with love and affection so now i am going to explain the uh, lesson so i'll be reading the uh, lines and explaining the paragraphs so those who have textbooks you can look at the textbook so i'm beginning the first paragraph the first place that i can remember well is a large pleasant meadow with a pond of clear water in it some shady trees leaned over it and rushes and water lilies grew at the deep end over the hedge on one side we looked into a plowed field okay so black beauty is the hero and narrator of the story so the black horse is a baby at this point okay the black beauty remembers her childhood days how he spent in the beautiful meadows meadows means fields grass filled area for animals to graze in so we can see here a pond with water uh, shady trees a uh, leaning means near the pond so you can see in the picture uh, rushes means tall grass like plants that grow near water ponds you can see here glass uh, grass standing tall around the pond 
so we can see the water lilies growing in the in the pond so over the hedge hedge means a line of bushes small trees planted very close together especially along the uh, edge of a field so the horse was just looking at the over the hedge it was looking at the over hedge uh, when fields are uh, plowed i hope you understood the first paragraph now let us go to the next paragraph so we looked over a gate at our master's house which stood by the roadside at the top of the meadow was a plantation of fir trees and at the bottom a running brook with the steep banks while i was young i drank my mother's milk as i could not eat grass so again the black horse uh, remembering so the black horse just uh, remembering the uh, past about her childhood saying that our master's house you can see here in the picture we can see that the road at the side of the house at the top of the meadow was a plantation plantation means a large farm on which a particular type of crop is grown so brook means a small stream okay so plantation of uh, fir trees at the bottom we can see a small stream where water flows so when i was young i used to drink my mother's milk because i could not eat grass same way students when we are small we drink milk from our mother so we can't eat food isn't it children now move to the next paragraph in the day time i ran by her side and at night i lay down close by her when it was hot we used to stand by the pond in the shade of trees and when it was cold we had a nice warm shed near the plantation so during the day time i used to run beside my mother and each night i slept next to her so on hot days we stood together under the trees and when it is cold we stayed in the warm shed close to the plantation move to the next paragraph as soon as i was old enough to eat grass my mother used to go out to work in the day time and come back in the evening so later when i was old enough eating grass and my mother used to go for work all day and come back in the evening same way our parents also goes to work and they return in the evening so we were very busy in the school time move to the next paragraph there was six young colts in the meadow besides me they were older than i was some were nearly as large as grown up horses i used to run with them and had great fun we used to gallop together around the and around and round the field as hard as we could go sometimes we had rather rough play for they would frequently bite and kick so the black beauty horse continued to tell the story that there were six other colts colts means young male horses so six other colts lived in the meadows with the uh, with with me so they were older than me and some almost the size of grown up horses i used to run with them we had great fun we used to gallop around the field as fast as we can sometime we played more roughly gallop means running fast so we played roughly biting kicking as well as galloping frequently frequently means repeatedly move to the next paragraph one day when there was a good deal of kicking my mother whinnied to me to come to her and then she said i wish you to pay attention to what i am going to say to you the colts who live here are good colts but they are cart horse colts and of course they have not learned manners you have been well bred and well born so my dear students in this paragraph what i meant one day uh, when we were playing roughly my mother just uh, spoke to me softly okay we need we need means a soft sound made by the horse so the dorky my mother calls me 
okay and she told me that we must uh, listen carefully to her and she explains that while other colts are very good they will be ordinary caught horses one day and uh, have not yet learned their manners but you will but you will you you are well bred and uh, well born and uh, has a family history of greatness and we should behave properly and well disciplined move to the next paragraph your father has a great name in these parts and your grandfather won the cup 2 years back at the new market races your grandmother had the sweetest temper of any horse i ever knew so don't spoil our family respect even you even your father had a great name he won the cup 2 years back at the new market races so do you remember our school children also participate in different events and they brought uh, so many prizes to our school isn't it children so same way the dorky's father brought a cup in the race and also your grandmother had a good temper temper means she was very polite well manners and good behavior she never did like that so mother gives me a lot of um, teaching me to how to behave in the society and how to behave with other colts so i my mother advised me to behave in this way move to the next paragraph your grandfather had sweetest temper of any horse i ever knew and i think you have never seen me kick or bite i hope you will grow up gentle and good and never learn bad ways do your work with a good will lift your feet up well when you trot and never bite or kick even in play so you should follow your father and grandmother's principles mother said to her did you see me uh, any time i was fighting or kicking so mother advised darky not to kick but be polite gentle don't learn bad way, bad ways just do your work uh, with a good will will means ability to do good things and trot trot means move slowly while you lift your feet up so never bite or uh, never kick anymore while you are playing uh, you should never fight so mother wants him to grow up strong and good and avoiding bad habits and working with a good spirit move to the next paragraph i have never forgotten my mother's advice i knew she was very wise and our master thought a great deal of her her name was duchess but he often called her pet so the dorky remembered all things and recalled her mother's advice not to learn bad manners my master was a very wise and clever and he was very kind man and our master was very kind and he treated us very well my mother uh, name was duchess but our master used to call her pet she was well loved and uh, she was very wise so i hope you understood the first part of the story the second part of the story you can see in the next clip thank you very much